live. We are already live in the Acupuncture Academy Facebook group. So it worked. So sorry to keep everyone waiting. We had a little tech error, but better late than never. I can't hear you. Unmute here. There we go. <laughs> throw us for a loop and make sure we're jumping through all their little permissions to go live in the group. Sorry. Perfect. So today, Joy is back to help answer some of the questions that came up after the last action lab that we did, the very first last action lab that we did. Um, this was on how to repackage packages. And you were given email templates. And there's a gal in the group who um, um, generously shared some of her data with us good, so we can go okay. over some of that. Perfect. And then also one thing I didn't know we were going to do, but Joy is giving us a sneak peek of a presentation that she's doing in her Heal at Scale Facebook group later today, but we get first dibs at your presentation. So exactly. thank you, because I think also, as you pointed out to me, the information in this presentation, I think really helps answer the bulk of the questions that have come up from the um, previous presentation on how to repackage packages to get you know, one-on-one -on -one clients or to get more time. So thank you for coming back to us. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. And I just want to make sure your all your community knows uh, this is an open Q and A. So um, Lisa warned me that y'all could be a little bit shy. Um, so I am prepared to kind of help you uh, focus your attention on one of the two main areas that you probably need to work in your business um, if y'all are shy and you don't ask any questions. Okay, so uh, we'll kind of give ourselves a little primer of the main areas in our business that we might have to work but hey if you had people who tried um those templates and sent them out uh we want to make sure that we have time to look at that and make sure to give your people feedback so they know exactly uh what data they can take away from their attempts at marketing they i have to say if there's one thing that will save you in your marketing efforts from screaming and crying in the shower a lot it would be just to make sure that you look at all of your marketing um, efforts as data instead of letting it be drama right <laughs> so if you um, like i noticed that she did a mailing she got an open rate but a really low click through rate that gives us a lot of data right that tells us she probably uh has not been cozying up to her list uh reaching out frequently enough providing uh valuable information and basically just staying in touch hi i'm here uh in case you need me uh and even if you don't need me here's some wonderful information right so if we don't do that often enough Enough. Sometimes uh, we don't have the open and click through rates that we would love. So we'll make sure to get into that today as well. Yeah, Kim. Um, thank you, Kim, for posting in the group. She posted. Um, in fact, is it okay with you, Joy, if I just do a screen share? And yeah, we'll just go, go for it. Let's do it. Let's look at it. We'll do share. Let me open this up a little bit here. So and I will try to increase the size of this so you can see really well. So Kim was kind enough to share her um social media post here and I, I, it is the it is the template and it looks like there were 136 impressions great okay I wonderful know. great and then this is investing in your health now comes with benefits so there's a 30.9 percent open rate and a 0.3 percent click-through rate Okay, great. So and whenever your open rates, just so you guys have some general information, and I realize Kim is just for anyone who doesn't know what she's looking at here, uh, Kim is actually looking at her stats, right? And your email stats are, okay, how many emails did we send? And then your click, your open rate is what percentage of people that you sent it to actually opened it and paid any attention, right? Uh, and then the click-through rate is telling her how many people actually opened the email, read it, and clicked through where she wanted them to go. So whenever your uh, open rates are low, you want to have more compelling subject lines in your emails, okay? So when your open rates are low, uh, you wanna have better subject lines. And you and want- what would, be, what would be low? Like what's low, what's high for well, what, an if open you, rate? Yeah, when you first start to measure, I would say that's your benchmark, right? So when you first okay. start to measure, and I know Travis, did you loop Travis into the Zoom part too, Lisa, or is he not 
have oh, access I, because he can give you more industry standards. But when you're not a marketing professional, I have to say that you take your own benchmark and you want to move up from there. Does that make sense, okay. Lisa? Because it's not fair for us to say, oh, well, compared to Amy Myers, who has a whole team of people contributing to her marketing efforts, you know, your open rates are way down here, or hers are way up here, right? So I prefer not to have brands measure themselves against a standard that's not uh, realistic, giving, given um, what assets you have to put towards marketing. I prefer that we all make our own benchmarks and we all continue to better our best. Does that make Excellent. sense? Okay. Yeah. So if this was Kim and she's getting a 30, uh, almost a 31% open rate, then yeah. she's yeah. doing great. So now her, that's her, that's what she wants to beat, right? So okay. if I were her, I would want to continue trying to beat myself and get those open rates up towards 40, 50%, right? Which is really high industry standards, you guys. Like that's a great open rate. She's not doing badly at all. Okay. Now that a uh, 0.3% click through rate when your click through rate is low that means that you're not making a compelling enough invitation or that you're making an invitation that might be compelling but not to the right audience so you either do not have the audience right these people are not interested in that thing which would be weird for her list lisa so in general i would look at the way she phrased the invitation to go get the offer that's what i okay. would be looking at make sense Yep. Makes sense. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like she was using that and she did email. So she must have done both, right? It looks like it. Yeah. And if Kim, Perfect. if you're on here and you can message me or, or write it in the chat, or we can even get you a link to come on live, we can get a little bit more information here. Or you can just add it in later. Yeah. Um, I love just getting data. And, and I shared with Kim down here that there was a time when I had a list of 900 that I hadn't emailed in about two years. And over the course of four emails that I sent relatively close together, because mm -hmm. I was getting my list back on track, I had over a hundred unsubscribes. Yep. And, and that's normal. I mean, that's that, then now I have a very actually engaged email list and yes. we're on target and, you know, things happen and people get busy. They change their interests. I change my interest. And so, you know, good on you, Kim, for going ahead and, and uh, messaging your people and getting that first yeah. step that first piece of information, which exactly. is, you know, are people going to open it, which 30% pretty darn good. And then changing the messaging within the email to try to get those clicks. And exactly. so, yay. Exactly. So good on you. The best right. thing that we can say is she dove in, right? She's not right. sitting on the sidelines. She decided to get down and dirty on the field with all the rest of us. And as far as I'm concerned in marketing, if you're just sitting on the bleachers watching, like, go home. Like, I don't, I don't even want to deal with that. It's the people who are going to get in, get their hands dirty, try this and keep failing forward fast until they get the conversions that I want. Those are our people because those are the people who are going to do what it takes to get the job done. Right. I do not see any other questions coming up in the chat. Okay. Um, but the, by far joy, the main thing that uh, the feedback that I got from most people was, well, these are great but I don't have a, a big social media following and I don't have a lot of people on my list. Yeah. Uh, and if they do have them on their list, they're typically through their acuity or their um, online scheduler. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, they can do broadcasts through there, but not easily and not with the emojis and not like you really were, you really described to us the psychology behind the way an email is formatted and they don't have those kinds of, options in a lot of the uh, software that they use for scheduling. Yeah. But the main thing by far was I don't have a lot of people on my list. So <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, well, it still work, exactly. you know, that kind of stuff. So this segues hopefully into what it is that you're presenting yes, later today definitely. in your group and that you offered to give us a sneak preview of what's going on here. So yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to kind of separate this into the two main chunks that we see from your people, uh, Lisa, and that tends to be that they're either it, they're in one of two boats generally, right? The first boat is I do not have enough consistent uh, client work patient work. I do not have that um, steady enough that I feel financially abundant and safe. 
Okay, so that's one chunk is, oh my gosh, how am I going to keep the lights on, right? (laughs) I want to make sure that I have enough safety and abundance and consistent uh, consistency in my business that I can keep the lights on. Okay, that's one. Okay, and then what happens is, and it might sound really far away if you are in that boat, but it happens really quickly because once you get your business set up in such a way that you do have consistent bookings and you and you do that honestly you guys by what lisa and i are talking to you about which is getting them off of all these other platforms and pulling them over to your email list because that's a communication medium that you own right so you can send them your weekly newsletter you can send them invitations to work with you you can send them notices about new tinctures that you've made or new moxa that you like or a new type of needle you're trying out right you can keep them in the loop of what's going on in your world whereas we never know what's going to happen on any uh particular platforms right does anybody remember MySpace? You guys old (laughs) enough to remember MySpace, right? If you built your business on MySpace, you're like, you know, like, not gonna happen. And that might seem really silly, but like, look what's going on with Twitter right now, right? We're not sure if like, that's just gonna self implode. And if that's your main business, the way that you gather people, holy cow, what are you gonna do, right? Well, and there was a time, there was a time not too long ago, maybe over the summer where Facebook and Instagram were down for a few days or whatnot. So yeah, I hear what I hear what you're saying for sure. Yeah, exactly. And where your people are communicating what their marketing challenges are, they might not have this problem, but fast forward when you have paid ads running on on meta on facebook and instagram and and something like that happens that's your only incoming stream of leads and the site goes down like that can cost a company a ton of money so um so we want them on your list because that's your cozy home field okay you you have the home team advantage there because you absolutely control it so what happens is when you actually have a community of of people who are on your email list and you cultivate a relationship with them you start to be able to calculate you guys Oh, okay. Well, for every how many emails I send, I land about this many client clients or client packages, right? Or I sell a certain amount of tinctures or supplements or herbs or patches, right? So you can start to see over time where there's consistent incoming profits in your business in relation to how well you're reaching out to your people. Does that make sense, Lisa? Yeah. Oh, you're muted. That makes sense. Yeah, sorry. Makes sense, right? So <laughs> yeah. in other words, your own success will leave clues, okay? So it won't be like, oh, spring is up and summer is down and winter is up. It won't be such a roller coaster because you'll be able to see when I reach out to that community for these type of offers, I make about this much money and that should be on a steady incline as you grow, okay? So when I say there's people in one of two boats, one boat, I need enough clients to keep the lights on, right? I need consistent clients to keep the lights on so I feel abundant. When you do the right processes to actually have that happen in your business, you're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from being in the other boat which is, oh gosh, now I have too many clients, right? Like I've officially hit my head on the income ceiling of how many time, uh, how many appointments I can fit into my week. Does that make sense? So in other words, once you figure out the first problem, you know in advance what your next business problem is going to be, right? Right. And I I know that there's people here right now going, I just want to have that problem. I can't wait to have that problem. Right. Right. I mean, I can remember when I was in the first boat and all I could focus on was just trying to get enough people through the door, you know, on my schedule. Like, and and it is hard to see ahead. Uh, And so I'm glad there are people like you that who can show, shine a light on what's ahead and lay the foundation for us now. But I know what it's like to just want to get the, you know, get the income to pay the bills, you know, to just cover the bills and that kind of stuff. So, and I know there are a significant number of people in that boat. I also know in ABA in our group, there are people that are right now trying to hire associates and because they have hit that ceiling and they want time. 
Exactly. They want time so in their life. The vote, right. So yeah. I either want abundance and consistency and safety in my business by having a, a steady, you know, stream of clients, new and recurring, right? So that's one system that we have to worry about. But then really, you guys, once you have that all in order, it does not take long. And I'm sure the people who are in this boat in here can attest to the fact that like, oh, once I actually got my marketing and my business firing on, on all cylinders, well, then the next thing I know, I was missing my kids games and no more date night with the spouse. And oh my gosh, my favorite yoga class, I'm starting to miss it. And their time for themselves and their family is going down and down and down because it's really hard to turn that abundance away, right? You, When you've been working so hard to get that abundance, once you do get it, even, and we've had this conversation, Lisa, then even when you're on vacation, you're having this weird experience that like, I'm here in Hawaii or wherever you chose to go, but part of my brain is stuck back on the fact that this vacation is costing me money and the time away is costing me even more money. It's a so, double whammy. <laughs> yeah, it ends up feeling like a double whammy. So the more that you can create a vision for your business that is looking forward to fix both of those problems is setting you up to have the abundance first. And then while you're doing that, you can look for clues about the things that will help you leverage your time. Because once you get the abundance of the consistency of clients and and, and product sales, whether that's tinctures or, you know, um, patches or herbs, whatever it is, then once we get that down, we want to start looking for, ooh, what are the lanes on that highway that we love operating in the most? Because those can become our leveraged offers, right? So, so le explain leveraged. I know yeah. I, this is like the key word here. So yes. when you say leverage, tell me what you mean. Yes. So if I had it all my way, we would decide, okay, which, what's the main boat I'm in. Okay. I just need plenty of abundant clients and product sales to move forward. Okay. If that's the boat you're in, then you should be paying attention to which clients you love serving and what protocols you love acting on the most. What are your favorites, right? What do you lean towards? So because examples just, just for acupuncture's examples would be like musculoskeletal stuff. There's some people yes. who treat elite athletes or infertility. There's a big yes. infertility kind of group and certification. So those would be kind of like the lanes where exactly. people might want to focus. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. And we have a, um, we have an acupuncturist in our group who is focused fully on fertility, right? So it's like, okay, She's that's awesome. there. And, and, and it's a very narrow lane. Like what she actually loves is not getting them all the way through the healthy pregnancy. She loves the conception part. Right. So it's like that's what that when she was filling her practice, that was the lane in her practice that she loved the most. Now, guys, was it the only thing that she could do? No, no. She's amazing. No. Right. She could do pain management. I mean, you name it. Right. Of course, all of you, you have a really broad spectrum of what you can do. I just want you to think through as you're as you're filling your practice. Oh, which ones are my absolute favorites? Which ones do I get excited about? And if I had, you know, 50 women or 50 men or whatever that I could take through that process at one time, would I be interested in doing that in the same hour that I might spend with a patient, a new patient on that topic? Because when we start thinking about that now, it gives us um, fodder for ideas that might become our online group programs. And an okay. online group program is where you educate people about everything related to that particular topic. Does that make sense? Right. So and then we, we're not doing treatments in the program. It's a group no. program or doing the education piece. Exactly. Exactly. And if you're okay. an, in, in the case of an acupuncturist, you might even be saying if they need to physically go see an acupuncturist in their area, right? Because remember, when you do an online program, Lisa, you everybody can learn from you all around the world, wherever right. they live, whatever time zone doesn't matter. They can learn from you and your expertise in that environment. And if you needed them to point to a local acupuncturist to go see that, well, then you would tell them exactly what they need to request from that person. Right. But a lot right. of the acupressure points and the pins and the moxa, a lot of that, you can coach them through using herbs and tinctures and patches and all of the things in your 
your wheelhouse, right? You guys have a lot of tools at your disposal. Right. Uh, and I think sometimes acupuncturists in particular can get really narrow focused and think, nope, my only option for making money is people on my table and me placing the needles. And that's absolutely not true. You have a wealth of knowledge, right? And Chinese medicine has pillars to it. And it's not one pillar, right? There's not one pillar, put in the pins and everything else shall fall into place. Last time I checked, you guys have a very balanced, very holistic vision of health. And a lot of that comes from you sharing your brilliant knowledge. And that's what the group program uh, space is really good at deploying out into the world in a way that diversifies your income. But more importantly, it leverages your superpowers, right? That's what My I favorite. want for you guys. <laughs> My favorite, because you give me time, time, time. Yes, yes exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Right. And our our graduates will tell us, oh my gosh, you know, the, the 45 minutes or 90 minutes I used to spend with a new client about fertility. Well, now that's my Wednesday afternoons. I spend 90 minutes doing an open Q&A for a group of 50 or 100 women, right? And so how rewarding is that, right. you know, to shut down that Zoom knowing, well, really, I just imparted the same knowledge I would to a single woman in front Front of me and I just exponentiated the change that I will make in the world and that's where it gets right. really financially uh, but also emotionally rewarding right there's a high sure. to that to teaching a group of women who are committed to the same thing and that's the other thing you guys probably know this but you know loneliness has been in and of itself shown to be a health factor that is as negative as smoking a smoke a cigarettes a, sm a pack of cigarettes a day Right. So as soon as you put people in a group to like solve a problem together, pff, loneliness gone. Right now they have a community of people that they can, you know, empathize with and, and give some support to and kind of hold each other's hands, make right. friends in the Facebook group, that kind of thing where the loneliness can also go away. So right. many benefits of having a group program, like you're saying, of people who are trying to achieve the same goal. Yeah. And the gratification, because I know I've done group programs, is so wonderful. Um, but full disclosure, you'd say this, I'd say this, it's work in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. It's work in the beginning. It's like yeah. work, work, work. But the payoff, the payoffs, plural, are more, I think, than you can imagine. And, and I'll just say personally for me, being able to create a greater vision for what I can do for myself, for my family, and in the world. It, it expands the more comfortable I am doing what I love doing and making money at the same time, like uh, making money, like it just makes a difference. It really makes a difference. And I know none of us are in it for the money, but my gosh, it makes a difference in, yeah. in how you perceive each day. It really, really does. And so group programs has been one of the, the keys to getting me around the bend um, and offering digital products, that kind of stuff has been just uh, phenomenal. And the way you and Travis teach this stuff, yeah. um, you know, I thought I was pretty good at it, but <laughs> you guys are off the chain. You're just fantastic. And that's why I, I'm so grateful to you. Every time you come in my group, you have an open invitation to share what it is that the next best thing that you guys are doing. And so thank you again. Like I'm going to interrupt you in the middle of this just to say thank no, you. Um, so I so tell it. me more, tell me more about, about okay. So what I think would be good, unless you have a laundry list of questions there, then what I think we should do is we should take you guys through three questions that will just help you uh, see exactly what you need to grow your business, right? Whether okay. you're in the, holy cow, how am I going to put food on the table three months from now if I don't figure this out, right? Um, all the way through to, oh, I'm sick of looking at resumes and trying to find the right person. Um, because adding staff is great, you guys. Adding staff is great. But just keep in mind, you have to find the right person then you have their you have their medical malpractice you sometimes need more space and more support staff and so the margin right that actually comes home to you when you add another person sometimes isn't as generous as we would like it to be uh, whereas when you add on leveraged group programs if you think about that leveraged group programs also mean leveraged product sales right so if there's one person in front of you and they in Lisa's case like if they got hooked 
on the patches that you love, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then if that's one person hooked on wonderful patches, which is an income stream for you. If she's leading a group of 100 people through that same issue, and even 75% of those people love the patches, well, now she has 75 people loving the patches, and that's ongoing income stream for her too. So the exponentiation is a higher reward on your, your time, but also a higher reward on any testing or, or products that you happen to use which I know testing is not big in this world, but the products, you guys have a lot of great products that you suggest. So I would like you guys to self-assess by answering three questions, and then I'll tell you what to do based on your answer for each question. I'll tell you how you can do it in general. And then I'll also tell you, as Lisa's mentioned, we do teach this stuff. And uh, we found out a long time ago that y'all don't love tech and you don't love copywriting either, right? (laughs) And by copywriting, I mean the messaging on a page, okay? Not copywriting your favorite book or whatever, okay? I'm talking about doing the tech to build it, the build the solution for this problem. And also uh, all the copy and messaging that has to happen on those pages in order for it to be effective. We found out a long time ago that you guys don't like that stuff. Uh, and we have been in the health and wellness space for over a decade. You guys have seen me before. So you know a lot of the brands that we have worked for, uh, including acupuncturist Chris Kresser, which I know he's probably one of our more well-known clients in your world. Uh, but other people, Amy Myers and JJ Virgin, and Daniel Amen and John Asara from The Secret and Metagenics and uh, Activation Products. And a lot. We have been in the health space for a really long time. And the um, advantage for you guys is that when you do get stuck on the tech or when you do get stuck on the copy, we do have in-house programs uh, where you can just kind of stand on our shoulders. We give you what's converted before. So why fix what ain't broke, right? We give you what works. Uh, and then you just customize the colors, fonts, copy for yourself on tech that travis um who is here in the ether so if you have a question for him please throw that uh in the facebook chat and we'll do our best to make sure that he answers that we built that for you and so i'll tell you how to do it yourself and i'll also tell you if you want to do it yourself with our templates and training um we have options for you to do that and as a thank you holiday gift for lisa we have uh coupon codes, Black Friday coupon codes that you guys, like she said, are going to have access to early. Okay. And these are huge discounts for your people, Lisa. So we want to make this really easy for them. uh, And we want to make it really affordable so that there's less risk. Thank you. Of course. My pleasure. So I'm going to walk through the three questions. Anything you need from me, Lisa, before we dive in and show them those? No, we're good. We're good. All good. I don't see any questions. Yeah. I think you made me co-host, so I should be able to share screen here. There we go. Okay. Yep. I see your slide. Okay. I'm going to make it nice and all the way big. See that okay, Lisa? Yep, open Q&A. Okay, wonderful. So again, it is open, you guys. Um, But Lisa warned me that you might be a little shy. So I'm going to tell you some questions you should be asking yourself, okay? Because the problem with open Q&A in an area where you don't feel strong or you're not already (laughs) making leaps and bounds forward is you don't know what you don't know, right? Right. So you don't even know what you should be asking. Uh, So hopefully this will help you. Um, But I'm doing my best to keep on a different computer screen on eye out for questions. So if I see them in the chat, I will definitely uh, stop. Or if you see them too, Lisa, stop me. Okay. I will do that. Okay. So these are what I consider the the best three uh, self-assessment questions that you can ask yourself because it's going to help you see, yes, you need to fill your one-on-one, but you can do that, you guys, in such a way that you're prepared for the moment when you have plenty of clients, patients, money, and you're actually now starting to run into the time issue and you need to start leveraging your abilities. Now, the more you do that early on while you're filling Filling your one-on-one, the more prepared you will be to exponentiate the return on your time and on your skills when you hit that uh, income ceiling and you're ready to leverage. Okay. Now we have uh, summarized these questions and what to do based on your answers inside a guide that Lisa will have for you in the Facebook group. Now the reason that I'm doing that is because I want you to stay present with us. 
All right. And if we're all just writing down our notes, uh, we can't really be be present emotionally with each other. So we went ahead and did that to have you stay present with us and get your questions answered. Okay. Now, from what Lisa and I have already been talking about, this is generally the basic conundrum. I either don't have enough clients or I don't have enough time. I don't want you to have either one of these problems. <laughs> and while you are solving this one, I want you to keep in mind that I have never come across a practitioner who had enough clients that wasn't immediately slapped in the face with the not enough time problem. Okay, so we would like to be solving both of these simultaneously whenever possible. Okay, so grab a sheet of paper, uh, write this down. Your answers to this will determine the action steps that you should be taking now as you prepare for hopefully your most profitable year ever in 2023. Okay, so the first question I need you to ask yourself is do you have an online presence? Okay, that would be things like a website and what we'll call funnel pages. I'll explain that in a minute. I need to know, do you have an online presence that effectively captures names, emails, and even phone numbers nowadays? Because we can do a lot of communication via text. Okay, Lisa, do you have an online presence yourself? I do. And okay. my question to you is, would a, like, a, you know, subscribe to my newsletter, if I have that box on my website that says subscribe, would that satisfy your question here? Are you looking for something that's a little different than that? Okay, a newsletter is a good catch all way, sort of like a catch all, a, a kind of very general net. But yeah. if you think about it, the more specific we get to our potential clients, patients, the more specific we can get by inviting them to trade their name and email for something that really hits home with them. Uh, let's stick with our fertility example, right? So the acupuncturist who's focused on fertility, <laughs> if I came to the website and saw a newsletter, okay, let's just say this is my site if you were a want you, you want to be a mom soon okay i know that doesn't apply to either of us but <laughs> if you wanted to be a mom soon and you came and you had the choice between signing up for my catch-all general newsletter or signing up for uh the chinese medicine guide to conception to healthy conception which one would you want absolutely the chinese medicine guide to conception because that's going to speak right to what i'm looking for Exactly. So the more we take, remember I said, when you're filling your practice, pay attention to the stuff that you love. What are the lanes on that highway you love traveling in, right? Okay. Me, yeah. I like to be in the express lane. That's my favorite one. Okay. So whichever <laughs> lanes you love being in, those would be good things to have what we call a lure page. Some people call it an opt-in or a lead magnet. There's tons of words for it. Uh, but basically the more specific we can get, with the invitation to trade a yummy piece of helpful content, a quick checklist, a little guide, uh, the more that we can offer the the really like narrow content for their name and email, the higher our conversions would be, right? And and you proved that just now. What do you want, general, or do you want information that solves the specific problem that you're on that page investigating whether or not my acupuncture company is the right fit for you? If right. you saw something that was fertility focused, you'd be like, oh my gosh, she's not just an acupuncturist. She's one who loves solving fertility issues. This is my gal. See, this, this is great. This is great. Yeah. I wish I had you 20 years ago though, Joy. I, I got a lot of people in my practice initially because on my about page, I explained why I got into acupuncture. And one of the reasons was I had headaches, chronic headaches. So I got a lot of people who had headaches who came to me, but how much better would that have been if I had had some kind of a, of a targeted downloadable something that was really more, more about headaches. I mean, I would have had a line out my door yes, if I, exactly. if I was thinking that way. And, and I would have had an email list of people that were interested and they could come from all over the place. So yeah. Where were exactly, you 20 years ago, Joy? Exactly. <laughs> I'm just putting some images on this screen. So if you don't have this solved, what generally will happen is you will be experiencing a feeling of scarcity. 
right? Yeah. If you do not have this solved, you will be experiencing scarcity. You will probably be experiencing a lot of ruminating thoughts about what you've done wrong, if you're on the right path, what you could be doing differently, like whatever flavor your ruminating thoughts are, you probably will be somewhat partially obsessed with at least a significant portion of your brain power to how are you gonna solve this problem? And it can also be super emotionally disappointing because you know you're good at what you do and you're just wondering how come you can't attract the people to actually exercise your services? And how disappointing is that after investing in your education and practicing for years and years and cultivating your expertise to not feel like you're satisfying what you're here on this earth to do is extremely disappointing. And when you have done the work to have a community of names and emails and you do that, that's completely different, right? That means you can take that email list and you can invite them to join for lives, just like Lisa did today, right? She invited you guys to come and hang out with me, okay? She can send you just beneficial content. And all of you guys who are on the template uh, talk with me, where I gave you those email and social media templates, you remember that I want you to grow your list for these reasons. I want you to be able to send out inv invites and list love, and I want you to be making offers right hey it's uh we're heading into cold season anyone who wants to come in and have some sessions to boost your immunity i'm over here remember me <laughs> right and we want to be sending out those reminders because even clients and patients who love you get busy like life's happening we're not in the forefront of their thoughts so even though some acupuncturists especially acupuncturists will be like i don't feel comfortable mailing i don't like it i don't want to be a spammer your competitors will be doing this and that means you will be your business success will be at, at a detriment at a loss uh because they're staying front of mind and you're not okay mm -hmm. so if we have friends in our phone and we forget to just text them to go to the movies or come for dinner like they're not gonna totally forget about us but let's face it like our energy flows where our attention goes right so even if i text lisa and she can't join me for the movies i bet it feels good to her to be like oh joy thought about me when she had the time to go see a movie right so even though they might not take you up on every offer just communicating keeps you in the forefront okay now when that happens like i mentioned over time you're able to see, oh, okay, every time I do that, I land three, four, five new, pa um, you know, return patients, and I get two, three calls from a new patient who was referred by someone on my list. Now, wouldn't it be helpful for you, Lisa, and your people to have that sort of consistency over time? Because then Absolutely. every quarter, you could be like, okay, I need to mail about this number of times to keep the volume of visits that I want. Do you have any questions about that, Lisa? No, I'm, I'm going to let you keep going here. I want to see what the next one is because okay. <laughs> I have a feeling I know. <laughs> okay. Now, if you, so the right way to do that, um, I'll just tell you how to do it. This is the way that we can help you do that. Okay. We have a, we have a program called health pro website. Okay. And what this does is transform your concept of what a website should be, which for most of you, um, somewhere along the line, someone told you it should basically be a digital brochure right and a digital brochure doesn't necessarily do the work to pull people on your list okay the things that lisa and i talked about making invitations to trade their name and email for something on a topic that's specific that they would need and that you love delivering on right remember we don't want you to fill your practice with people who have problems you don't love solving but you probably do love solving some types of problems a lot better than others. Those are the things that I would make invitations, lead magnets, lures, opt-ins, and invite people to get those. Because then you're intentionally growing an email list of people who have the issues that you love solving most. Okay, now when you do that with us, you guys can do this on any way, shape or form, any platform, you do not have to do this with us. I'm just revealing our solutions for doing it. But if you're gonna do this, you need to make some major changes in your website, okay? You need to make a website that is focused, not on you really, but on the user of that website. Okay, so a lot of us want to do websites that are like, hi, I'm me and I'm great at this and I'm wonderful at this, right? When we would be much better off saying, you've landed on the right page to solve your fertility struggles. 
if we're you if we're sticking with the example of the acupuncturist who loves solving that problem right or welcome to the home of pain of natural pain management right if we had a statement like that on the website instead of i'm the best expert at solving chronic pain right we've now made it not about us but about them what is the win for them on this page and in health pro website we really force you to do some thinking to make sure even your about page you guys is really focused on yes facts about you but how those facts about you serve them does that make sense lisa because that's kind of a nuanced thing it's a huge nuanced thing and i know because i'm in health pro website i mean i i know what you guys bring to the table in helping us understand these nuances that are just so effective of bringing in the right people. And it's, it's the training and the psychology and the understanding of the messaging that you guys give to us that I haven't seen taught anywhere else ever. Thank you. It's important to us. And yeah. as you can see, we give you all of these templates already done where there's a picture of this lady, there's going to be a picture of you, right? And uh, Travis has even made in Canva all the templates so that the photos of you are the right size. So there's a lot of dragging and dropping going on. There's a lot of color by numbers with your brand scheme. Okay. Now we have, tra we have done this product uh, live with practitioners and it is now available as a self-study course for you guys for just under $2,000. But remember, I told you we have major coupons for you guys to say big and you guys have access to use yours from today all the way through Cyber Monday, which is a week from today. Next Monday, you guys will be able to use those coupons. All right. We're in we're so in first. You guys are in first <laughs> and and sneak sneak uh, sneak peek slash spoiler alert. Um, your Black Friday coupon code gets you 50 percent off of this. 50%. Okay. Now you tell me anywhere in the world that can give you a website that is based on the conversion of the leading health and wellness professionals and actually holds your hand describing what copy goes on there. How do you do the tech? And you guys, you will not be beholden to some web developer somewhere. When you right. do this this way, you control the templates. If you wanna get in and change your headline to support the LGBTQT community because there was a shooting recently and you want to make a heartfelt message to the world the week after that has happened, you know how to get in there and change that headline on your own. No waiting, no waiting. You just go and you make the statement that you wanna make. And then when you want to go back to your regularly programmed headline, back to focus on conversion, right? Then you can do that. This is the type of empowerment we insist that practitioners have, okay? A lot of other marketing agencies pull something I'm not so thrilled about uh, because it makes you beholden to them, right? I don't want to be beholden to anyone. And I'm assuming your community doesn't either, Lisa. So we empower them to be able to change any and everything on their site whenever they want to at the drop of a hat. So yeah. all of these pages are designed and ready to rock for you. They're beautifully designed and they're also, they've also been tested. That's the other piece to this that, that <clears throat> you may not realize is that Joy and Travis have tested and tested, like, where does the button go? Yeah. You know, what, what, how do you change the different styles of buttons? What's what section comes first, second, or third in order to convert people like that's, that's like the huge value that is on every single solitary one of these pages. And that comes from you guys, we're basically taking the um, the refinement and optimization that we did with all those big brands that you know, we work for, and they spend a lot of money on paid ads right and so we get to refine the conversion until it optimizes to numbers that we're really proud of and what you guys end up with is being able to basically stand on our shoulders and take advantage of that same ad spend and that refinement that has already happened so it is a big shortcut for you guys to be able to do that one of my favorite parts um and alisa you can chime in about this if you want but one of my favorite parts of health pro website is something called the compelling content matrix it's the way that travis designed 
behind what's essentially like a blog feature of the website. And it basically makes it so that you can do a good like nine line posts, uh, three in, in your favorite three different areas that you love. And then they interconnect with each other. So instead of being stuck on the hamster wheel, always creating new content, new content, new content, you can simply take a little nugget out of each one of those nine posts and drip those things out on social and in your email and keep getting people back to one of these posts. So that's one of my favorite aspects of the Health Pro website. There's lots, uh, but that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is brilliant. And unlike a, a regular blog where you're having to produce like just content, 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 this structures it in a way that they're really articles, you know, but they, but it looks like a blog. And so you don't, be, it's just, the content is always relevant. It's yeah. it's not something that, um, you know, it, it goes away with time. So the yes. way you have it set up is so beneficial. Yes, thank you. Um, and then there's all the stuff that I feel like a lot of other marketing agencies don't really walk you through in enough um, in enough detail to protect you. And guys, this is the geeky, boring part, uh, but it's absolutely essential to keep your website safe and functioning and most of all compliant, right? Because when we're operating in the health space, we have a lot more responsibility um, than some other brands do. And so making sure that your things like your privacy policy and disclaimers and handicap accessibility, all that good stuff has to be really clear and transparent. And Travis walks you through step-by-step -step video our, our graduates call them watch, pause, do videos, right? So the more intimidating they are by tackling a piece of tech, the more they're like, okay, watch Travis do it, pause the video, do it myself, go back, make sure I did it right. And then you don't have to fret about whether or not you did it properly because you simply watch, pause, do your way through it. All right. Now, again, there is a self-study version, but you guys have a coupon code that's coming up here uh, at the end of this presentation in just a few minutes that will get you half off of that. OK, so we'll make sure all of you have access to those coupon codes today. OK, oh. again, you can do that yourself, but that's our avenue if you want our help doing it. OK, it's simply that you would go back through your website. Stop making it so much about you and make it about the wins that people who visit your website will have as a result of you. Nuanced difference, but it will make a huge change in your conversion. Okay, then the next question to ask yourself, and this is that second problem that we talked about, right? Do you have a leveraged way to make income that does not trade time for money? Okay, and are you a yes to this or a no to this? Lisa, are you a yes or a no to this one? I'm a, I'm in process. I'm in process for this one. Okay. So you're adding some leveraged stuff. For I sure. would say you selling the patches does not necessarily take your time. Right. So right. you could be even doing emails now that would promote patch use uh, mm -hmm. stuff that. So that's an example, you guys. So don't think it fully has. To, we love you to do group programs because we think that they are the key right to leveraging right. your superpowers. But there's lots of ways to do it. If you're really good at selling products, right? A lot of you love certain skin products that are non-toxic or um, you do the earbuds or the moxa or the patches. Right. So there's a lot of different ways that you could do that but it does not count as leveraged money making unless you can get those sales without the one-on-one -on -one visit okay so if you're going to tell me joy i make money on tinctures and on herbs does every single one of those sales end up being contingent upon a one-on-one -on -one visit with you that's not scalable okay but if we have that email list and we're letting them know about our tinctures and our herbs and other cool things we want to sell and we send that out to the email well yeah that's that is now leveraged because you could make 50 100 different sales from your email list if you sent that out and it doesn't require your one-on-one -on -one time except sending the email okay so there's lots of ways to do it our preferred favorite is group programs okay now you will know that you do not have this coverage that you, you'll know that you don't have this area covered if you're constantly looking looking for someone to come in and be an associate in your practice so that you can maybe start to take one day off a week, two days, you might even uh, try to lower your load a little bit, right? You're probably feeling super burnt out at this point, right? Because you thought, when I get a full one-on-one -on -one practice, I'll feel abundant and happy. 
and then you get there and you feel burnt out instead, that is so disappointing, right? So you're either looking for people, you're feeling burnt out, or you're starting to realize, holy cow, I'm stuck in the time for money trade. What the heck am I going to do to get out of this? That's probably likely the way you feel if your answer is no to this question. Okay. Now, once you get this figured out and you actually have leverage in your business, that brings a lot of peace of mind because you can predictably tell what your profits will be over time, right? Based on each promotion, you can tell, oh, I'm going up by this, in this many increments. I seem to sell this many more every time. My business is on a profitable, steady incline. That's safe. That brings peace of mind. Okay. Now, if you do it the way we love it with the online group programs, that also gives you a lot of freedom, right? Because we took um, our son Maverick and we lived in Thailand for three months, right? We wanted him to have that experience. We could not have done that if we didn't have a way of making income in the online space, right? So I think these are well worth the extra effort that it takes to get there. You guys can do that by creating group programs or offering things like products, supplements, tinctures, herbs, uh, the patches, anything like that are all great ways for you to have leveraged sales, okay? If you want that same shortcut that we do with the website, we offer a program called Protocol to Program, okay? This was a program that we do live. It's just under $10,000. There is a new self-study version that is available for only $3,495. Again, you guys have a Black Friday coupon that will getting, be getting you 30% off this very comprehensive program, okay? Now, fair warning on this one. This is not only creating your program, okay? This is a, a real hardcore boot camp that will take you from being the type of practitioner that owns your own job, which let's face it, many of us own our own job, but we're not truly being entrepreneurial, right? And running our business like a business, okay? So you will be simultaneously creating your scalable group program and getting clear on the aspects of your business that need to be systematized, right? That need to be organized so that you can leverage that program even more and more year after year, quarter after quarter, all right? So this is this is a very intense program. It's also one of the most worth, worthwhile things that I would say a practitioner can do. Wait, wait. So it's 30% off that price that I'm looking at right now. The 34.95 exactly. is 30% off of that and additional 30% off. Listen, I'm on code. So if you go to the sales page right now, if you guys go to protocol to program.com right now, you will see, see that this self study version, right? This is the self study version is available to you guys for $3,495. When you hold on a minute, and we'll give the, you this code in just a minute, you will have a 30% off coupon code. Okay, so I just have to say, because I've been through protocol to program, and it is insane the amount of value in this program, but just the webinar section of this program is worth that cost. The way, like, you could pay three times this to go and get a real legit, how to do a web, how to do a real webinar that converts. Yeah. And I, and, and that doesn't even include like the sales page and all the other yeah. stuff that's in here. So this is, I did not expect this is a great deal. Yeah, this is a huge, I mean, this is an overwhelming slide to even show you guys, but right. like even just the prep, like if yeah. you're the kind of person who's like, you know, I don't love my brand's board. I don't think I've nailed my colors. Uh, if you feel like, hey, you know what? My branding and messaging has never quite been right. Like, I don't think I'm saying the words that really land with people and get them to see my value. And you guys, yeah. the hardest thing with the language and the, I'm the copywriting side, Travis says your tech and traffic. I do all the copy and content development. The hardest part is doing your own stuff. So the exercises that I force you to do here in the branding and messaging section will help you drastically switch um, from promoting yourself to promoting the wins for the people who need you. And while that is a very subtle difference, uh, when you see it done a few times and you use the templates I give you, you will see that that is a very powerful change. All right. And you're right. There's like there's the sales. There's the membership site itself that you get that whole membership site template. Uh, there's the order form and checkout price process. There's an entire webinar funnel. Now, do you remember I said um, you asked me on the, the on the website piece? Well, if I just offer my newsletter, is that enough? 
well, it's okay, but it's not what I would pick for you. You're going to have an entire funnel. So a webinar registration page. So just imagine, you know, if there was a webinar where I'm inviting you to find out, um, you know, the reasons you're not pregnant yet from a Chinese medicine perspective and what to do about it. Right. So if that's a free training I'm inviting you to and that's your pain point, that's the problem you're looking to solve. Well, heck, yeah, I'm going to sign up for an hour long class with an expert on that. Sure. Now my list is growing with people who are interested in that particular area. So wow. this is this is a very comprehensive process because you're going to build your own membership site portal then you're also going to turn around and make a webinar to promote the darn thing so you've got a lot of email growth and mastering the art of promoting an offer and you guys when you get good at promoting this you could promote uh your patches you could promote your favorite tinctures you could promote your favorite herbs once you get the hang of how to promote something well you can turn those skills on any sellable aspect of your business Okay, so that one is there for you guys, but hold on, obviously I wanna give you the coupon codes. But before we do that, that third question, and this is something that both of you need to do. If you're in the, holy cow, I need more clients, or oh my gosh, I have clients, I need people to help me because I have no leverage. I haven't taken a vacation in two years that I actually was present on, you know? Yeah. So, And that is to answer the question, do you engage with your list well and often enough that you can reliably predict profits? Okay, now this you guys has to do with having a communication cadence, like a tempo to how often you communicate with people. Why is that important? Because that consistency is what's going to give us the ability to measure the data we need to know, okay, how many recurring patients do we score? How many new clients do we score? How many product sales did we do? And that way we can map out each quarter to hit the financial goals that we want in our business. Okay, but if without that, we're just kind of willy nilly trying anything and we're not measuring what we did to see whether or not it worked. Okay, so if you're not doing this, if you're an answer to no, you're probably getting signs from any emails you do send that people have no idea who you are. They're like, who is this person? I don't remember this person. Why do they have my email, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have any predictability in your business about when you do promotions, how much you make, right? And you're, it's just because you don't have the systems in place. You need to set up systems to remind yourself to communicate often. Now, if you do Health Pro website or if you do protocol to program with us, we give you automated email templates, okay? So when you get that uh, webinar that Lisa was talking about, well, that webinar comes with triggered emails that go behind it, right? So if you watch the webinar and you didn't buy right away, then that webinar is gonna hit you up with some cool stuff like a case study of success, right? Or someone who uh, decided to do it uh, or decided not to do it and they're 10 years later still not pregnant and they missed the boat, right? So we can tell stories all the way along. It's called a drive to sales sequence. All of those things and the automated times that they should go out We've been testing that over the last 10, 12 years, you guys. So we've figured it out for you. We templated it for you and make sure that it's automated. Because when it is, when you can say yes to this question, then you know exactly how much you make on each type of email that you send, which means you just calculate that quarter over quarter, right? We know how many emails we wanna send each quarter to have a certain product sale, to book one-on-one -on -one clients, right? To sell our group programs. We know what how many promotions that we need to do in each quarter to hit the financial goals that we want. If we had not been communicating with our list regularly, we would have no idea what the potential conversions would be. But over time, the data leaves traces, right? Success leaves clues, and we can figure that out really easily, right? That would also mean that you're able to leverage your time once you have the programs in there, right? You have a lot more leverage. And I think that's where you get the peace of mind that we all want from our businesses. Okay, now you guys can take and build a group program. Okay, you can do that on Thinkific or Kajabi or ClickFunnels, a bazillion different ways. Okay, we do it on a, a platform that you can look at at Best CRM. That's B E S T C as in cat, R as in rabbit, M as in marketing, platform.com, bestcrmplatform.com. That's the platform that we use. 
if you do our programs, those website templates will be pushed straight into your account and you will customize them using the trainings that we give you. If you do protocol to program with us, the entire membership site portal, the sales page, the webinar funnels will be pushed directly into your account and the training will teach you how to customize and deploy each and every one of those, okay? So if you're not sure where you are, what the biggest problem is in your business, the Health Pro website is for those of you who still need the consistent one-on-one. -on -one. You need to grow your community and communicate with them in such a way that you know exactly Exactly how many one on ones you're going to book from each promotion and email, you can reach out to them often. Okay. Um, and then if you're already to the place where you see, oh my gosh, I want to get leverage in my business sooner rather than later, the right option for you would be to start with protocol to program. Okay. So though the healthprowebsite.com is where you can find that the self-study version has already been discounted to these low prices. Okay. The self-study version protocol to program has been discounted too. Now I promised to give you guys some coupon codes, but I want to remind you that while you can go out and do this on your own, we have tested this using um, these same uh, pages and processes and, and content ideas, uh, the copywriting templates, all of that kind of stuff. We've tested it with brands like these um, and we've had great success and optimized and refined them. Okay, so when you take advantage of the coupon codes, you are stepping into all of the expertise and refining practices that we did with everybody else, and you're getting to lean into that and take advantage of that too. All right. So it's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so any of you who feel like, you know what, I really need to get my ducks in a row. I need to start cultivating a relationship. I need a website that actually does the job of pulling people into my world. Health Pro website, you guys, has a, um, it has the option to add what's called a book a call campaign. And yeah. the book a call campaign is one of my favorite aspects of Health Pro website because what most of you are doing is you're sending people to a calendar link that is not designed to be a customer relationship management system. It's not designed to be your MailChimp or your Entreport or Infusionsoft or whatever you're using to send bulk emails. It's actually not designed for that, you guys. And you probably have not added a question on your scheduler that actually gives you permission from those people to market to them. Okay, a lot of people make that mistake. You know what I'm talking about, Lisa? People yeah, yeah. just send straight to their Calendly. <laughs> but Calendly is not asking me, do I want to give you permission to email me? Right, you so get in big trouble. Exactly, so technically when you're doing that, you are not following the letter of the law on proper email um, etiquette sending. You know, there's a lot of rules around that and you're probably yeah. not doing it if you're cheating and taking all those emails out and just sending people emails, right? The book a call funnel has people get really clear on what this free session is gonna be like with you. And then once they agree to that, they answer questions from you with a lot of detail. Uh, and then they get to pick a time on your calendar. But when they see all the good things they're gonna learn from you on the call, they're putting their name and email right there. And there is that little box that gives you the permission to mail to them. So basically we put one, uh, like a registration page in front of your calendar service so that before they get to your calendar and can book time on your precious schedule, they actually do have to opt in and be on your email list, which I love that because it's a much cleaner functionality for you and actually does give you the right to email those people. Right. And then you're not one and done with them. So you can actually streamline the call. You don't waste your time. You know what you're getting into before the call. And then afterward, you have a way to follow up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, great. And that funnel. funnel does have follow-up emails written and templated for you. So of if you don't know do. what to say after, <laughs> I've already done that for you. <laughs> so this is definitely the best deal for anyone who's really just looking to make sure that the online presence that they have isn't just a digital brochure, but it's actually designed with intention to become a very profitable online presence. And for those of you who are looking to hire associates and you're thinking to yourself, well, maybe that's not going to get me the income Jump that I'm really looking for. Um, if you're ready to add scalable income in the form of online programs, protocol to program would be the right fit for you. Uh, and that's the coupon that
that code that you want to use. Now, really quickly, so I'm going to go back here because I want to make sure that you guys know that's a zero and that's an O. So this is five zero, that's a number, and this is the letter O, F, F. So 50 off, 50 off is your group, this is just for you guys, Lisa, is your group's coupon code uh, where they're going to save 50% off Health Pro website, which That's is so already generous. a smoking deal. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is amazing. And you said this is available until the Monday after Exactly. Yes, this coupon okay, so will the... be effective to the end of Cyber Monday, which is a week from today. Okay. Okay. Same with this one. That's three zero, the letter O F F. Okay. So three zero O F F. And then I'm going to take you through to the sales page and actually show you guys where to put that coupon code. Uh, okay. Because there is one thing that's a little quirky and weird. Um, but when you get to um, the handout that I've prepared for Lisa to give you in the group later today, there is a page that just kind of is a quick summary. Okay. So Travis, if you're a Travis just actually sent it to me. So I, I can put it in the group. Oh, you can put it in right now. Okay, yeah. Wonderful. So thank you, thank Travis. You, Travis. So, we appreciate so it. I know these are great slides. And so for everyone, they're going to have all this information that they can just, it just click the link and it opens up. So yeah, I'll put exactly. that in the group. And so you guys can know like, Hey, if you're a yes, or if you're a no, the answer to each question, there's some tips on how you can do it on your own. And then there's also links. If you do want our help accomplishing it, which is not necessary. Um, but if you want to be on the fast track and you want to use what's already working, uh, then there's links for you to access those. You would just make sure to use your coupon codes so that you get uh, the better price, okay? So I wanna make sure that you guys have that, okay? Again, if you're ready to create a profitable online presence, my choice for you would be Health Pro website. If you're ready to add scalable income, my choice for you would be protocol to program. Now, if you are a forward thinking person, this is never going to happen again at this price point. So right. if you're the type of person who wants to snatch up lifetime access to this at 30% off, because you know, in a year of executing well on this, you're probably going to need that, that would be a smart investment in your future. Okay, so again, Lisa has this handout ready for you guys. I'm going to hop out of this presentation because what I want to do is show you something here. So if we go to Health Pro website, you guys, when you when you go to the site, you'll see that we'll walk you through everything we're up to together. Uh, what's going to happen for you. There's even a summary of um, you'll see a lot of testimonials from people that we've made very happy, but you'll see a summary of everything that we're going to do in every single module. So you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. Then you're also going to see uh, the bonuses. Oh my gosh. I love the bonuses for health pro websites. <laughs> the, mm -hmm. the quick wins, especially like these two are my favorite, the notographer photo shoot. Oh, you're not the type to go have a, fo a photographer shoot. I love what Travis put together there, the notographer photo shoot. And then the quick win strategies are really good for those of you who are like, holy cow, Joy, I don't know how I'm going to get through the holiday season. I don't have enough clients. There are the top three money making strategies, the quick win strategies. These are what we would use you guys when what when the CFO, the chief financial officer would walk in to one of those bigger brands that you saw that we work for. If they would walk <laughs> in and say, we need a quick win, right? Maybe we over invested in a big bulk of supplements or something, and we just need needed green on the books. We would we would do all different kinds of promotions. The top three best performing ones are a bonus inside there. So you have the templates to deploy things to get clients right away, right in that bonus. Uh, but this is the part that I want to show you. OK, so again, this is the price here, but you guys are going to use your coupon code. OK, so you're going to come right in here. It does not work on the three pay, okay? And that was because that was a technical nightmare for us. So your coupon code will only work on the one pay option, okay? If you need to distribute it over three months, I'm super sorry, but the coupon code will not work for that, okay? Luckily, it's a heck of a steal, you guys, because after you put in your coupon code, the one three payment is almost what you're paying for the whole darn thing. So right. let's get right on in here. If we click the button and we go to the order form, Okay, this is you'll put in all your information. And then this is where you'll put in the code right here. Do you have a coupon code? Okay, so we know that our coupon code for health pro website is 50 OFF. Okay, so we would come in here. And we would put on the order form page 50. And then that's the letter O. it doesn't matter if it's capital or not 50 off. Okay, and we'll check the link. 
And now Ooh. look at our price point on that. And then and then they have to click the the yellow um, button there. Yep. Exactly. You'll there. click here. Okay. Right. And this is just allowing us to email you guys all the fulfillment support emails. It's letting you know all of the good oh. details of our program and then you're in. And wow, so once you great. of course put in your info, you're getting that entire online toolbox, which is amazing. You guys, it's the templates for your homepage, your about page, your trusted, the trusted product page alone in Health yeah. Pro website. You could make so much money from the trusted product page. It's crazy. Like if you have things that you believe in and you have affiliate relationships set up, that product alone, that page alone could easily reimburse you for your, your investment in this. Okay. So that's where you do it. You guys, you come in here, you hit the form that you're going to buy. You'll see the area to put the coupon code. Uh, you fill in the bubble. And then once you have your info, you'd hit submit payment. Okay. So a, one time again, those coupon codes, you guys, and we can put these in the Facebook group. Uh, at least I can put these, just these slides uh, if you want in the group. So people have them, but That'd it's be great. Yeah. Yeah. 50 off to get health pro website and it's 30 off for protocol to program. This is great. And I, I want, I want um, everyone to think about like 2023 is coming up and having goals for 2023. This is definitely something that you can start now and really change your outlook for 2023. So I want you to think about it that way. Like, what is it you really want to achieve? What I don't want is a year from now, you looking back and going, damn it, I'm in the same situation I was in last year where I'm struggling to get patients or I'm struggling to get more time with my family. So th these are really great answers to solve those problems if you're having them. So start with one, just start, start with one, start with one thing here. Yeah. And, and I, I know it'll change your, your outlook for next year and also your, uh, your books. And I would say, Lisa, just if if I was in the situation of I need consistent clients, like if that was my primary goal, I would mm -hmm. start with Health Pro website. Yeah. Because when you do Health Pro website, you'll go through a module called the Great Lure, G R E A T, and it's an acronym. It stands for uh, generous, remarkable, easy, actionable, and trustworthy. Okay. When you put out a great lure that has all of those aspects, that is a phenomenal way to grow your list really rapidly and start communications with those people. Now, the hard part for you is well, what if I do it and then I drop the ball? on communicating with those people, okay? The best part is there's a mini nurture and a mini nurture is simply an automated series of emails that will trigger as soon as I put my name in email and I get the cool thing from you. So even if you just go forget and you don't email me, I'm still gonna get five emails from you. And then if you turn on the long-term nurture series, which we also teach you completely how to do in that health pro website. Um, yeah. In that in that program, we teach you completely how to do that. If you also do that, then even if you forget about me after that, I'm still going to get two emails a month from you to keep you in my you know in the in the forethought here. You know, so I'm thinking about you. So if you're looking to set up a really strong business foundation and you recognize you failed to do that thus far, which you guys, it's not your freaking fault. Like <laughs> when I look at some of the things that my acupuncture friends have showed me that their schools gave them for marketing, I'm like, I just, I'm aghast. Like, are you kidding me? That is not, they're setting you up for failure. So I just want any guilt or shame or remorse about what you haven't done so far, like throw that away. It Thank is you. not your flipping fault. You mm -hmm. are really, really good at what you do. I'm really, really good at what I do. And so is Travis. And so when you get to lean into us and let us take some of that off of your shoulders and show you exactly how to do it, it would be like letting me shadow you in your clinic and seeing exactly what you do every day the right way. And you'd be shortcutting me every step of the way. Oh, don't use that needle supplier. Don't use that tincture supplier. Use this. All those ins and outs and nuances that you would have to impart to me, we're imparting you all those important little nuances within these programs. Thank you so much, Joy. I don't want to take up more of your time. I am going to actually repost this video in Acupuncture Business Academy because okay. I actually live streamed us into the Diversify Your Income Streams group, which is connected to ABA. 
Okay. But, but it's not the main group. <laughs> um, but we were having a little tech trouble in the beginning. And so okay, it's, we okay. still live streamed and Kim is in there and uh, there's a few questions and I'll go back and take care of those things. But if you do have time to hang out in the group for another few days, um, yes. maybe to the end of the uh, end of the offer, if questions come up about the offers, then I will direct them to you or if I can't answer them myself. That sounds wonderful. And if we missed any questions because they were posted in ABA, but we're right. Because it was funny. I was looking in here and going, gosh, I don't see us. So I, I don't see any questions. <laughs> That's probably why you're in a different group. And I'm looking at the ABA group on my other on my laptop. <laughs> I didn't so, want to bother you. I didn't no want to way. bother you with the tech stuff. So yes. yeah, so we just had a little snafu, you know, tech, yes, hey. tech things happen. You just gotta it work happens. around them. But I that's why I record. So I have this recording on a Zoom oh. and then I'll go just go ahead and upload the the video in there so we're good Perfect. and i'll put the slides that have your coupon codes i'll get those over to you right away so everyone uses the coupon code and gets that massive savings okay thank you so much joy all you right. have a great rest of your day and yes. thanks for happy letting us be here oh, yeah. happy thanksgiving yes. all happy right thanksgiving everyone